Hello guys, here is Julie and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Bihari style chicken curry. Bihar is a state of India and their traditional chicken curry is amazingly delicious. The recipe is also very easy. I will show you step by step how to make a proper village style Bihari chicken curry. So guys, let's see the recipe. For this curry, I have taken 1 kg chicken. And now we will do the marination. But for marination, we don't need any curd. At first, I am adding some turmeric powder, 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, less than 1 teaspoon actually. And now, some chicken masala, ready made chicken masala uh, got from market. It's uh, about 1 and a half teaspoon. And now, 1 teaspoon salt and 2 teaspoons of oil. Cooking oil, it's refined oil. Now, we need to mix everything very well and leave it for some time. In the meantime, we will do the rest of the process. So, everything is mixed well. Now, let's cover it and leave it for some time. And let's do the rest of the process. At first, I have put a kadai and turned the heat on. I am adding some cooking oil. About uh, 3 to 4 tablespoons of cooking oil. And now, I am adding some garam masala, whole garam masala. 1 crushed black cardamom, 2 inches of cinnamon, 4 to 5 black peppers and 4 to 5 cloves. Let's add them. And now I am going to add about half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now 2 to 3 bay leaves. I am going to tear them and add them. The heat is on medium now. And everything is fried well. As you can see, the color has been changed. Now, I am going to add onions. Here, I have taken about 8 onions. 8 medium sized onions sliced. We are not going to use any tomatoes or curd for this gravy. So, we need a larger quantity of onions. Because the gravy will be formed with the onions only. Now, I am adding about 1 teaspoon of salt. Mixing everything well and now after mixing well, I am going to cover the pan for some time for about 4 to 5 minutes on medium heat until the color of the onions starts to be brown. So, after mixing well, I am covering the pan and in between we need to uncover the pan and check it and stir it. With the onions, I am going to add some uh, whole garlics. Here are 3 whole garlics, you may change the quantity. Whole garlics are the specialty of Bihari chicken, so don't forget to add them. After about 4 to 5 minutes, the color has started to be brown as you can notice. So now the heat should be on the lowest. I turned the heat on the lowest and now I am adding some uh, crushed ginger garlic. It's 1 tablespoon full and it's fresh ginger garlic. I have crushed them. Mixing everything well again. After mixing well, we are going to add some powdered spices here. The heat is on low now, not medium. Now I am adding uh, some coriander powder, about half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of red chilli powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder and half teaspoon of garam masala. These are the spices we need and now some water, very little quantity of water. We are going to add water little by little, gradually. After mixing well, we are going to cover the pan on low heat. After mixing well, the water is dried up, so I am going to add a little more water. Don't add too much water at a time. We will add water little by little. So, I added a little more water and mixed everything well. Now, I am covering the pan. We need to uncover the pan, stir the mixture and add a little more water again. Uncovering the pan and stirring it well, the water is dried up, so I am adding some more little water. We have to do this process until the, the onions are mashy. That means we can mash the onions. So, after adding a little more water, I am covering the pan again. After about uh, 10 to 12 minutes, I did this process again and again. And now, I am showing you that we can mash the onions with the help of a spoon this way. If I mash, it is being mashed. So, it's ready for adding the chicken. Now, we need to add the marinated chicken. Let's add it. The heat should be on medium now again. Mix everything well. 
After mixing on medium heat, we are going to cover and cook the chicken. So I am mixing it well. And in between, we need to uncover the pan and stir it very well. We need to stir the mixture continuously, the chicken, uh, chicken mixture continuously. And uh, in this process, so much water will be released from the chicken and it will be dried up also. And we need to stir it continuously with some time gap. So after about 2 to 3 minutes every time, I am stirring the mixture. So now I am covering the pan again on medium heat. We need to do the same process again and again. I mean repeat the same process again and again until the onions are mashed very well. I mean the shape of onions should not be visible in the curry. The onions should be in the form of gravy. So we need to repeat the same process again and again. I am covering the pan. And after about 15 to 20 minutes, I am going to show you that the shape of the onions are not visible now. And it is in the form of gravy. I am showing you. You may notice it that it is fully gravy now there is no onion visible in this curry so now it's time to add water for gravy uh, you may add water quantity according to your wish how thin or how thick you want your gravy to be so uh, i'm adding a little quantity of water not so much and this curry is amazingly delicious with a thicker gravy so don't add too much water in this curry it's the bowl of the marination so i'm going to add some more water for this gravy now i'm going to cover the pan again on medium heat and cook for about four to five minutes after five minutes our curry is almost ready if you want you may add some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped but actually i didn't have it so i'm skipping it at the end of this recipe uh, we're going to check the salt I think some more salt is needed so I am adding it and at the end of this recipe I am adding some garam masala about half teaspoon of garam masala I am adding and skipping the uh, fresh coriander leaves. Mixing everything well and our curry is ready. Let's turn the heat off and uh, let's rest the curry for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes we are going to serve the curry. After resting for 10 minutes here is our curry. It's looking so delicious and so tempting. Let's serve it. The gravy is looking so much delicious and tempting really. Let's serve it. So guys, it's a traditional village style Bihari chicken curry. It's so much delicious with roti, chapati or rice. It's equally delicious with all of them. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.